you the big breaking story at this hour and we're going across to Maharashtra for that where 16 Sena MPs have told Uddhav Thakre to support the NDA's presidential pick to uh, that is the NDA's presidential candidate Draupadi Murmu. What does this mean? Let's go across uh, to Saurav Gupta who's uh, monitoring uh, this story. He joins us. Saurav, the Shiv Sena faction or at least the faction led by Uddhav Thakre had been part of the opposition's uh, uh, deliberations. They had, I think, supported the candidature of the joint opposition candidate, which of course is Yashwan Sinha. But has this, uh, the rebellion by the Ekna Chinde camp, uh, Ekna Chinde, who is now the chief minister, uh, changed things around? Well, to some extent, definitely yes. Now, obviously, these MPs, uh, and it took 16 MPs and we, uh, to uh, uh, start to vote for Draupadi Murmu. Most of them are Uttar Thakre loyalists. You know, for example, uh, who look at the list of MPs who attended this meeting. Uh, Priyanka Chaturvedi, Sanjay Rao, uh, Avdara Sabha. Then you have, uh, you know, uh, Rajan Vichare. You have uh, Arvind Savant. You have Gadanan Kirtikar, who is himself an MP uh, of, the, of the Lok Sabha. Then you have others like, you know, uh, other Thakri loyalists who were part of this meeting. You also, I believe, I believe Rahul Shivale, who is also an MP uh, from the Shintina and from Mumbai, attended this uh, meeting. So, uh, obviously, this is something that uh, is a key uh, uh, indicator towards the fact that there may be a change of position uh, mm. of the Shintina as far as the presidential elections are concerned. Uh, all but, right. Of course, Uddha Thakre has the final say, uh, but he, of course, uh, if all his MPs, like the Dhanan Chittika has said, uh, have told him that I have advised him to vote for uh, Draupadi Murmu on the basis that she's a woman, she's a tribal, uh, you know, uh, first time tribal candidate. And remember, Maharashtra has a considerable tribal population as well. Hmm. Uh, it, it, it is unlikely that, you know, uh, that Uddha Thakre will be able to completely ignore the considerations, the political situation and mathematics to uh, not listen to that. And all, obviously, these were the calculations behind which uh, the uh, uh, NDA and the government picked uh, 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 this candidate. But Saurabh Gupta, you say that eventually the decision is with or lies with Uddhav Thakre, but there's no whip for the presidential elections, is there? So the MPs can actually vote according to their own will, which means what uh, we might actually see MPs of the party of the Shiv Sena voting for the NDA candidate, Draupadi Murmu. That is a likely scenario. Many MPs could actually vote for Draupadi Murmu and that is uh, one of the likely outcomes oh, of that okay. presidential election as far as the Shiv Sena is concerned. And that, of course, is something that is along, uh, you know, uh, calculated lines of uh, the BJP. Uh, because, you know, even in states, say, like Odisha uh, or uh, in Bharkan, where there is a massive tribal population, uh, you know, to justify not voting for a tribal woman is going to be a little difficult, but of course, politically, you know, what it takes is strong messaging. And the BJP has been extremely strong in its messaging in terms of, you know, placing Draupadi Murmu as, uh, you know, a tribal candidate, as a tribal woman. And that's something that uh, the opposition parties, for example, say the Trinamool Congress in Bengal has said, look, we were ready for, uh, uh, you know, uh, for one... Uh, candidate, a consensus candidate, but that consensus did not arise because of the BJP. So yes, we will see this debate ahead of the presidential elections. Draupadi Murmu has the numbers, but going forward, when there are state elections, you can be absolutely sure that the BJP is going to use the fact that several political parties did not vote for Draupadi Murmu to move the tribal vote in those states when they go to elections. And Maharashtra has a sizable tribal population, so does other states. But states like Jharkhand, Odisha also have a tribal population, which is why you will see uh, this, this development and this, uh, you know, this likely, uh, you know, shifting of position uh, within several parties, especially following Draupadi Murmur's candidature. That gives many uh, that leverage, uh, that space to, uh, you know, argue that, look, uh, beyond politics, beyond the political line, there is uh, other factors at play here uh, in this candidate, which is Draupadi Murmur.
All right. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Saurav Gupta. The big divide in the Shiv Sena uh, having possibly a spin-off effect on the presidential polls in terms of voting by the party MPs. There was that meeting. Let's listen to one of uh, the Sena MPs, Gajanan Thirtikar, a Shiv Sena MP who attended uh, that meeting. Here's what he had to say. जब ही हमको वोट देना है तो तभी ये एनडीए की कैंडिडेट होने के बावजूद भी ये द्रौपदी मुर्मू जो है ये आदिवासी है महिला है उसके लिए उसको हमारा समर्थन होना चाहिए ऐसी मांग सभी सांसद ने पक्ष प्रमुख के साथ की है एक दो दिन में मैं निर्णय दूंगा ऐसा उद्धव जी ने हमें सर कितने कितने सांसद मौजूद थे सर कितने सांसद मौजूद थे कुछ यहाँ देखो कि कुल मिला के अठारह में से दो सांसद गैर हाजिर थे दो यानी एक भावना गवली और दूसरा श्रीकांत शिंदे और बाकी सभी आए थे सभी आए थे